Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Welcome to our channel. Uh, so today I'll be recreating my card for the Stamp Review Crew featuring the Share a Milkshake bundle or Share a Milkshake stamp set. It does have a coordinating dice but it doesn't come as a bundle anymore from the Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, so yes, so what is the same? Yeah, share a milkshake dice as well. Uh, so I'll be using loads of different Stampin' Right um, marker techniques. Techniques tonight. So, so, so yes, yes so, um, so hopefully you enjoy those and um, learn something new or um, remind you of techniques that you haven't used for a while. Yes, which we all do. I know, as Jay asked me, is there any techniques, you know, beforehand? And I was like, oh, I can't remember anything. It's just, <laughs> you know, when you get so much in your mind, um, kind of, you just don't know where to say. You do, when you're asked a question, you just go, what do I do? So hopefully if you are like me and have got lots of ideas you want to try but can never remember any of them, hopefully this will jog your memory this evening. Yes. So... <laughs> right. um, so I'll be doing that uh, as we are live. Uh, we'll say hello to those of you who have joined us. And if you are watching the replay, 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 uh, do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer. But uh, we'll also give away the card. Yes, because we weren't live on Sunday just gone um, because we were out. We were unable to do the drawing for this card, which was done the following Sunday. So the link is in the live chat, which has been pinned at the moment. So if you'd like to have a quickly, if you'd like to quickly go and pop a comment in there, you will be in a chance of winning that one, which is from the oh, Daisy, Daisy, what's it? Cheerful. Daisy. Cheerful. I want to say Daisy Delight, but that was an old one, isn't it? That was a, an old stamp set now, is isn't it? it? <laughs> <laughs> Cheerful no. Daisies. Yeah. Um, so that one there, I, I wanted to go into song, Daisy. No. Um, I don't know that song. Do you that's not? It. Well, I'm not going to. It's an old one, isn't it? Um, but anyway, I'm sure some other people. I'm long. sure some other people are probably singing along at home anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, so let's say hi to some people, and then we will then um, crack on with tonight's demonstration. So um, I don't know who was at the top there. I think we've got. I don't know if there was one at the top. So if we miss your name, mate, you might be at the very top of the list, which I can't see for some reason. So um, the first one in is. Um, Pat. Pat, Bling Bling Crafter. Hello. Sorry, I was just sort of like just seeing where I got up to. Um, so yes, we have got Pat there. I'm sure there's one above, but I can't remember who it is. Um, we have got Keisha. Hi, Keisha. And um, we have also got Lolly and Sands, Handy Mikalo. So hello to you. We have also got Connie, Lisa, Mandy, Pauline, and Krista. Oh, Krista, you were the top hey. one as well. How could I forget you, Krista? Sorry, you were the first one at the top. So, um... Krista has joined us, so hello to you as well. We've got Nancy Amato, we've got Susan, we have also got Maureen, and who else? We've got Jackie, we've got Mum, we've got Cheryl, Quinn, Linda, Angie, Danette, and Carol Ann, and Anne Marie. So good evening to you all. Apologies hello, hello. if I missed everyone out there. So yes, we will. So yeah, thank you for joining us. Um, on a quick side note, we are going to be having our crafter party again after this. So if you would like to join us um, once this live is finished via Zoom, um, you can do. I will post a link for that very shortly. So I haven't set it up yet. So I will set it up whilst Jay's crafting. And um, yeah, I'll post a link. So if you want to come along, have a little chat with us whilst we're tidying up. Not a long one, probably, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, um, depending on if, how many people turn up. We will, yeah, whilst we're just tidying. So no crafting, just tidying for us. And then you can chat amongst yourselves. And it's Jay's way of getting out of cooking dinner. So the more of you that turn up, the less he has to do. Yay! Craft your party! <laughs> so anyway, that's it. So let's do the draw and then we'll crack on with tonight's demo. So there we have it. So the winner is going to be, I think I've got everyone in there. Let's just change that. Good luck, everyone. 28 of you. So good luck. Cheryl. Cheryl Taylor. So good. Congratulations to you, Cheryl. This card is going to be working its way over to you. I'll show you in a second. But if you would please email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 9th of August 2023, in the subject line and your full mailing address, please, there, Cheryl. And we will post this card to you. That's it. That is yours. So well done there, Cheryl. Congratulations to you.
Amazing. Lovely. Anyway, I'm going to hand you over to Jay. He will crack on with the rest of the demonstration. And um, yes, yes, enjoy. So before we get on with the demonstration, just a quick reminder that we do our free card kit offer for um, the daisies currently, but we will be changing it. So today is the last day if you um, purchase the cheerful daisies bundle from our online shop uh, using that QR code, uh, we'll send you the card kit for these three designs on the post for free but from tomorrow we will be changing our offer Ooh, i hear you say <laughs> um yes so we'll be doing um card kit for the month instead um and from tomorrow it will be the urban textures so look out for that um i haven't done the graphics because the page that I do on our website for that, um, I need to up update, but obviously I can't do that whilst there's a, a, an offer going on. But yes, um, that will be coming up uh, tomorrow. So share a milkshake um, stamp set. So you have milkshake, but you can turn it into ice creams i think um i prefer ice creams than milkshake myself um so it's got four sentiments so it was originally well great for valentine's but it can be used any time of the year and in the dice you have coordinating dice for the images um, as well as standalone dice for backgrounds and i guess that's a cone ice cream cone <laughs> because you wouldn't eat a milkshake in a cone right <laughs> wafer cone um i guess so yes yeah, so those are that and the techniques that i'll be sharing with you is the stamping right marker techniques so we'll be doing some marker to stamp techniques uh different uh drawing on the photopolymer stamps and yes i guess creating marks so uh, the stamping right markers are water based inside so it's not the same as your stamping blends which are alcohol markers and for the current catalog um what are we 23 to 24 <laughs> from is it may may um they've changed the design so the pine tip it's more of a bullet tip now instead of a pen and the brush tip is it's, I believe it's slightly longer well we'll see because this one is an old one so this one is the early espresso so hopefully you can see the difference and we may have shown you before already so the new one is on the top and the old one is at the bottom and yes, it does look slightly thicker um, brush tip there. We haven't got all of the markers just yet, shall I say. And if it's, uh, it's a great, it's called Many Marvelous Markers in the catalog. So you can get all of the colors in one go. And I believe it qualifies for a half price item if you spend certain amount uh in the uk it's 400 pounds so you get to choose half price item for that anyway my card base but okay, yes just asked a question which is okay what? so about, she doesn't use her markers often enough and sometimes they dry out is there a fix for that oh linda um so i believe that Stamping Up doesn't recommend you to use your re-inker or refills on these. Uh, but if it's already dry, I would suggest it doesn't... Well, you can't use it anymore, so you might as well try it, I think. Um, but yes, that I, I believe that's the that's what I heard. They don't recommend to use the re-inkers. But if it's already gone, you might as well try and it's easy to you uh, it's easy to do um, so before i start i might as well show you um you'll need a tweezer so i'll, I'll do it on the old one <laughs> just in case um 
get a tweezer and on see I think I've recently done these because it's quite juicy and you just need to pull it out and then drop a couple of um, re-inker in the hole and push it back um, don't put too much on there because otherwise when you put in your brush tip back it will flow out ask me how I know <laughs> because of that and um, I'm known for over refilling our ink pads so so try it out or what you could do in, instead of doing that you could always just dip it in uh, that re-inker and use it as a I guess kind of like a water painter but a brush painter so instead of if you don't want to open it up um, put use your acrylic block to dot um, refill and then pick it up with the, the correct marker Hopefully that um, you like that suggestion, but let us know how you get on. Yes, exactly. Nothing to lose. That's, that's, that's a good way of um, saying it. So for my card base, I have Pecan Pie, our usual or my usual um, card size, which is eight and a quarter by five and a half or 21 centimeters by 14 centimeters i have a piece of early espresso it's just going to be matte and layered uh, in the original i did skew it it was a bit wonky well no it's at the wonk uh at an angle shall i say so this one is three and three quarters by five one eighths of an inch and layer two is basic white which is three five eighths of an inch by five inches so in the original again this the basic white was a quarter of an inch smaller than the the early espresso card but i want it, it did show a, a bit more early espresso than i wanted so i've taken that up slightly i'll just bring up my instructions <laughs> I've already blocked this card so if you you've been on the blog and um, hop with the stamp review crew you've you may have seen this I've got basic white just for stamping and early espresso for die cutting so the we'll be doing some stamping and die cutting so we'll do the basic white first and The inner filler, I guess, cream. <laughs> and yeah, cherries, straws, and the sentiment. So loads of stamping. I will just get another block for that. So who views their markers recently? So one of the techniques is basically it's uh, markers are great for if you have a huge kind of like um, background stamp so you can pick different colors. Um, so I guess I can do that with my, um, I did do that in my cherries. So I'll do that. That's an easy one. Um, so if you have two colors, you can do red on the base this is just a uh, real red but as, as you can see this this one is an old one so it's not as juicy so maybe I should um, re-ink it but it will make it because you can see the brush strokes it it will make it textured and then for the top if I use another color Don't forget to half on it and when you stamp you have two different colors hopefully so you can you can see that it's a bit um scuff uh, scratched <laughs> so i'll just do that three times you can also do i guess your ink pad for the main body you can either wipe it 
the stalk i know it's too tiny but that's fine or use a blender pen to take off areas that you don't want and then bring in i'm gonna use the early espresso for this one just so you can see it a bit more so it's a small image but you can like hopefully get the idea So if you want of a more uh, solid, obviously make sure that your marker is juicy or use an ink pad and then add the accent with your Stampin' Right marker. I do need a third one. Um, what you, I guess we'll see if I do the marker and spritz it, it will of course hopefully makes it a bit more of a watercolor look. Do I have a spritzer here? I'm just smelling it just in case it's yeah that's alcohol <laughs> I know there is one here I'm just trying not to hit the mic so it's kind of like gone funky did I have on it earlier I'm sure I did so just spray it a little it will make it water color look on there i'm just gonna add my stalk oh it's been eaten i didn't press hard enough it's been eaten <laughs> so yeah so in the areas that's got um that didn't have much ink so you can see here it's a bit more sharper but on here it, because of the spritz it kind of like blended it a little bit more so that's three different um, ways already let's have a look see I'll just put this back so this one is copper clay so one of the in colors this year so that's why we have the new one which is great and also for the sentiment I will be doing so selective stamping uh, I'm sure everyone's got loads of sentiments and if you're like me specifically if you just want to use the, the stamp set um, that you have with it with the images I try to make up my own sentiment using the words in there so for this one I am doing your sweet um, so I've got two sentiments to put in together so I'm just gonna again using the brush just this one is basic black the brush tip on its side so it goes um, you cover it quite quickly half on it and then stamp so I'm only coloring the uh, words or even just the letters that I want because obviously this particular sentiment it's a longer word so I just want sweet of course if you want it the correct way do it that way but I'll be cutting into that so that is done just move that make sure that you do if you use your blender pen just take that off <laughs> before you put it away because it does take on the ink that you've used or touched on it so that is done I've got that I've got that so for the main milkshakes I will do some second generation stamping as well as the stamping right marker so I'm just gonna get a nice piece of scrap paper we had our um, online class last night and I didn't have a nice clean one <laughs> it look a bit funky so this is crumb cake so I'm gonna do the filler stamp first 
think that our stamp off and then stamp on so that is second generation stamping it's gonna be filled in so if it's not it does make it um, textured but it's gonna be filled in anyways with the filler stamp or inner stamp however you wanna pronounce it so that is oh I, I'm gonna do two I forgot <laughs> So I'm just gonna do another one. Stamp on. Just make sure there's enough space. Um, if you find it hard to press down, do you use ooh, flying glass? <laughs> do you use a pierce mat? I've got it here, but I forgot. But that second one is fine. I guess better than that one so that was crumb cake so for the next one whilst I'm doing okay I'll, I'll do individual sorry my mind I'm just like oh no I need to do that one but I'll do this one first and then I'll do that one okay so for the gloss I'm gonna use early espresso stamping right marker again with the brush to draw the chocolate syrup so because the design is already it's two-step stamping only certain area areas areas will be colored anyway so I'm going to do some drips so from the base you can just selectively add colors in areas and from the top you can do because it's a brush tip you can kind of like change the width of it most of the top won't be seen because we're gonna cover that with our own topping but you can go down if you want to different length half on it and then just align it if you can see hopefully much better than me and then stamp so now you have your dripping syrup or whatever you want to call it what, what is it called I, I say syrup chocolate yeah, sauce, sauce, chocolate sauce. Um, because of course um, I didn't want to so with this one we we had two colors all in the same stamp but with this um, image i wanted to do it uh, independently so you can add a second color i'm just doing copper clay and i'm just gonna color that and what i've found in and hopefully you agree from the cherry is using the stamping right marker it's a little bit lighter because just um, the concentration of the ink it it's not much so when you use your stamping right marker it's got a different tone again so if you have if you want to do tone on tone uh, you have stamping blend stamping right marker the ink pad second generation technique so for one color you have at least four or five different tones which you can do so I'm just gonna go over again uh, hopefully I can see I'm sure you'll forgive me if it's not completely on top so now you have something like that so I'm gonna repeat that um, you can see that my stamping isn't very good but hopefully that's you hopefully you get the idea so I'm just gonna quickly do that for the second one I could always hide the the not so good one so what did we do so we did early espresso uh, and just can you see where I'm adding it on and add a bit of syrup going up and most of it will probably at the, at the bottom and this card is actually um so i knew that i had to use share milk milkshake because the stamp review crew 
hop is all about different stamp set and the stamp that we were used um featuring was share a milkshake so i just googled milkshake um graphics and I, I was shown by google loads of lovely chocolate milkshakes with syrups dripping down and um, that's where the inspiration come from you're making everyone hungry by the way as well <laughs> people have got a, so, for some reason people have got an urge to go for ice cream ah? so. what's your favorite ice cream flavor or mi milkshake let us know Barry said um, his is strawberry for milkshake. My favorite ice cream, no, when we go to the beach, I normally have rum and raisin. <laughs> Barry, you, you change this all the time, don't I you? I do, whatever looks tasty at the time. But I do like a good rum raisin as well. So maybe with this one, I'm just going to spray it to have a bit more watery look. Where is my water? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> make sure you spray it on the, on it. No. Can you just give yourself a wash? No, I, I sprayed the mic. Right, that is just gonna go over. Caroline says strawberry sundaes as well. Mandy's gone rum, ra rum raisins for her too. Rum raisin and fudge, fudge for Caroline as well. Rum raisin fudge. Ooh, yes. Right, I really don't like that. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> and I quite like that um, spritzing it. I'm sure in my original I didn't spritz it, but it's too different. So stamp it. It's quite easy once um I was just going slow so I, I can explain hopefully properly. And it makes sense. Give us a heart if you <laughs> if it made sense. So this one is just a couple on the base on the top. And then wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Have fun that I nearly licked it as well. <laughs> Sorry if you can see my head. Next one, clean it and ink it up. Spritz this one. Ooh, that's quite a bit wet. We will see. <laughs> Maybe too wet. But, yeah, it's too wet. Oh, well. <laughs> At least you can see different ways of how not to do it. Do it properly. <laughs> I'm going to go with it. It's um, it's cold, so it had condensation. So it just kind of like <laughs> a bit messy. So now we have that one. We'll do the same for the the cream. So we don't have our vanilla and and one of the milkshake that I saw was like Oreos milkshake so it had kind of like bits in it so I thought grey granite. <laughs> so I'm gonna do second generation for, uh, for the filler. Uh, there's only one stamp on this one actually so I'm just gonna do that twice. But because uh, most of the time when you do second generation, it is a bit grainy, so I quite like it. Hi, Kim. 
got some amazing flavors going on. Oh, yeah, that, very, the, yeah I'm not very uh, adventurous when it comes to milkshake. We've got chocolate chip from GM, strawberry sundae, or rum ice raisin, creams. rum raisin fudge. Nancy sprayed herself in the face before with the thingies. We've got orange <laughs> and licorice. That's an interesting Ooh, one. I don't like licorice, Linda's though. Linda's got a popular one here in Canada is Moose Tracks. Moose Tracks? I'm interested to know what that one is. What is that? Linda, if you're joining us for the crafter party afterwards, we need to know what Moose Tracks is. <laughs> Go get one and then you have to show on the, um, at the video. <laughs> Cheryl's just blown her diet because she's gone to get some ice cream. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yana can't get rum raisin, um, but it's making her jealous. Um, Cheryl's also eating some salted caramel dove bar. Wow. Wow. So, um, and Loads. Kim's just picked up a strawberry milkshake from McDonald's. <laughs> I like a good old McDonald's <laughs> yes, strawberry milkshake. Yes, that's what we Kim. normally do. Amazing. Thank some you for sharing. Yes, loads, feeling, loads. We've got a Solero in the freezer. <laughs> One left. That's mine then. <laughs> so um, it's another technique is uh, to add marks onto your photopolymer and instead of covering it all on uh, all with ink, so you can just tap it. So you can see by dip, um, changing the direction. So this is my sprinkles. Sprinkles. <laughs> so uh, it's easier on the ground or on the table, just turn it round and keep it going until you fill it in. So you don't have to, maybe don't nudge it like that one. That flake is a bit wider, but yeah, so that's another technique. So it, instead of just filling it in with the whole area um, in color, you can just add more and because the shape is there already, you know that it's not going to go unless I stamp it wrong. So you just need to realign it. So some of my marks are out, but that's fine because again, we're going to add some drizzle or syrup. <laughs> so for this one, wrong way, brush tip again. So do just kind of like you have to remember that when you turn it over, it's the other way around. So depending on how you want to um, have your design. So how did I do my one? Uh, again, just on the edge, I'm just going to add a bit of flow, just flow around. On there all the way down maybe and you know again it we're not filling in all of the areas we're just filling some areas <sighs> half on it realign it so you have your cream with a bit of chocolate syrup mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna do the same oh might as well do this one first whilst I have it so I'm just gonna no to dishling is the same so it doesn't matter if it's not in the same area I do like the flow uh, from left to right or top right to left um, when it's done so I'm just gonna carry on doing that and there we go maybe add a bit more thickness in some areas and half on it so it doesn't matter because we're just filling in or adding more details in the stamp it doesn't matter if it's that one first or the tapping you can just do both so how many techniques was that now who's counting 
so we can add it on the title. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous. There we go. Half on it. Oh look, it's gone completely watered watered look. I think it's slightly off, but you can still see that there's some small detail. So that's how you can add other details onto your photopolymer stamp or red rubber stamps. So now we're just going to um, die cut and make up our card. I might have to use this one in the end now. So for the die cutting, um, we'll do very vanilla for this. Um, what is what what is it wire <laughs> for the wire <laughs> wafer no i don't know it reminds me of like some um <laughs> some ice cream that's got some chocolate grids <laughs> chocolate gr what, what is it Cho oh i, I forgot wafer. my straw my straw huh wafer. wafer wafer um, so I'm going to do two straws. <laughs> so this one is two-step stamping. Um, I'm not going to use my my marker or the app, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Uh, I want a different tone for the red, so I'm using Poppy Parade for this one. The marker was real red, if you can remember. So quickly just add that on and clean it. And did I do, oh no, I think I did black. Oh, I'm so silly because this one's gonna completely cover that now. <laughs> Though, um, it, it's, it's fine, I can do it again. I'm sure we have plenty of off cuts. Yeah, that one. So this one, I... Ooh! That one's slightly better than that one. I did that when I was doing my card. See, it's good to save stuff, Barry. <laughs> He's just been tidying my mess. <laughs> so, black first. Okay, but you can do... Red and white, I just wanted uh, a bit of black. Hi Estelle. There we go. And then to go in with Poppy Parade. I think I was distracted with all of the flavors flying about. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay, just go down a bit. And last one. So there's a bit of die cutting. That's why. <laughs> That's why. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and also I will be um, embossing on the layer so I'll bring that in I will emboss the layer I, I did use the painted texture just because it looked like a nice well it's one of my favorite and it looked like it could go well with the image also i think the what's the new one the brick and mortar no the exposed brick kind of like reminds me of i guess where you get your milkshakes from <laughs> it's a building right <laughs> 
Right, where's my layer? So I'm just gonna emboss this quickly. Uh, one and a four, and a one and a four. Spine first. Hi, Cheryl. So that is done, put that away. Oh yeah, one of the colors that kept coming up was like a bluey gray. And if you follow us, I, I do love my <laughs> I do love my grays for some reason. Um and I was just like what color? But I guess you can I could have mixed starry sky and or misty moonlight with pebbled path or something, but I didn't want to do it. <laughs> so going back, I'm just gonna do some die cutting now. It's probably from like Maki D's or something, the the ad that came up when I was searching for milkshakes. So this one, I'm just going to do two. Do I need anything else actually in? No. Now this die, it'll be great for press and seal, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's got loads of, um, I, I think I did, I used it for a disco ball, I'm sure, for the owls. And yes, I did use salad. I think I, I used tape or something. Sticky tape. To keep that in place. Or I used the... I can't remember how I did the bowl. I think I just used the outline of it. Wow, it's nearly an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. I've just been gassing. <laughs> right. So two of those. Can be gone. Who's got the new take your pick tool? I'm just using the. There's so many tips now, as in like, for the take your pick tool, we do have two, but <laughs> we're uh, we're only using one. And I changed it to the detailed one because we used to have, yeah, the picky one. <laughs> it's wider. This one is slightly thinner, so you can do some piercing on your um, card as well. And I like this one with the perforation or what? No, that's dashes. I don't know what's it called. Anyway. I put that on the on ours and then I just had the sticky craft knife in our pot. Thanks to Vicky. <laughs> and the spatula is there as well. Because most of these you can use without the the handle, but if if you can't grip it properly, you may need to uh, pick tools. Right, I'm gonna use that because that's better than my actual stamping on camera but you get the idea and even that that one's not a hundred percent so I'm just using ooh, these and make sure that that is on straight even though I use sticky note because I reuse them quite a bit they do lose their stick. Uh, maybe I should learn from. They do move. <laughs> so sometimes I have to cut into it. Ooh. Oh, hi, Vicky. I didn't realize you're on. Yes, we, we use the, um, the orange pot magnetic one. Mostly for my rubbish <laughs> that Barry has to clear every now and again. Right, that, I can't, well, I can fit 
stuff on there if I'm, if I'm being and this die has a slit on there as well so you can insert your straws on there there we go and how many more one of that I think that one keeps it in place one of this one oh and three shall I get Barry to do the cherries Otherwise, I'll just be die cutting. Okay, maybe I'll do the chat. Die cut and chat. Huh? Die cut and chat. Die cut and chat. I'm not much of a chatter. <laughs> one thing non stop, see. I know. <laughs> so, what's happening this month? See, it moved. Oh, I, I thought I was being careful but I need another one yeah so we've done our online class um, yesterday and we have our coloring master class uh, fourth Tuesday yeah coffee with friends and then I have my artisan post monthly post on the third Friday of the month or third Friday for US it it's like Saturday for us when it goes live who is just slightly it's still okay and I have a creative post as well coming out in when is it coming out actually? I... Ooh, 24th. So creative post is on a Thursday. Every Thursday, there's a creative post from an artisan design team member. I, st I haven't received my box yet, but um, yeah, they're giving us the full rest of the year so for September October November and December projects we're gonna get that all in one go the... it. oh it's at Probably your mom's it <laughs> yes it arrived today I think I can share with you what's on there from the mini but there's, there's one thing that I can't share with you in there. Ooh. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Ooh. Right. Um, there we go. Save my... Save my, Is that everything? I think that's everything. Right, okay. And... So I'm just going to ink blend a little bit of grey granite on the background. Where is my grey? Just to make it look a bit distressed. <laughs> Linda's trying to bribe mum. Unbox it. <laughs> No, mum's not allowed to see what's in there. <laughs> yes. Top secret stuff. <laughs> I'll get kicked out. <laughs> Ooh. So there's probably not much on there, but I, I do like just making it look a bit <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I guess I could have done um, ver vanilla as well on there, but I don't like it. It's just a hint on there. Do I still need you? No. 
So originally I had it at the Wong, like that. Do you prefer straight or at the Wong? Let us know. I'm just gonna quickly make up my straws and milkshakes. So which one's nice? That one's not nice. <laughs> there we go. So when adding the milkshake, I'm just gonna add where is my glue? A bit of glue on the base. Did you ask a question? Wonky yes. Is the question yeah, wonky kind of or straight. Wonky donkey. And that one is going to have my. What's gonna happen? Oh, straws. That's the that's the word. So of course you can if you're making like um, float ice cream, you can do loads. You can stack them up. That's it. And then I'm gonna insert this. So it's just above the line. So insert that in. Ooh, let's use our pick tool too. There we go, another use. <laughs> Where's my card? Okay, one at an angle. So I did two straws in one just because I, I wanted um, the cherries on the other and I didn't want too much on it. So that's that one. And what is is it a wonky? Wonky wonky? Yes, we'll go at, we'll go wonky then. I see more wonky than straight. Did I go to the right? Okay. I can never know I can never decide like which bit to look at when I do it of, of I prefer it obviously within the card base but I can like look at the gaps on the top on the side to make sure that they're within so it, at least it still has some some sort of a system it's not completely off um, the card base and yeah I don't know if you're the same how do you how do you wonk yours <laughs> So that's done, that's done, that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there. I'm just gonna add my... Oh, if you have loads of the... What's it called? The adhesive sheets. It'll be great to use it on this. <laughs> Ours is next to the die cut machine, I still forget. And we have plenty. That's fine. I'm just gonna add that on. Maybe add the block just to make sure that that stays in place for now. So I'm just adding dots in the areas that the lines meet. Suki's picking in. It's a picking cut. So that one, that one, and one of this will be on top. I'll just add that now. Once that's drying. Ooh. So I guess if you don't like the slit, you could always add the cherry on there. I'm just going to add it on top. I know it ties a bit of my drizzle yeah. so we're just gonna add the rest how did I do it uh, pebble path I'm just gonna fold that in half 
Oh yeah. Um, so last time we were talking about ribbons and how to adhere it or what you use. I used the seal. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. But I didn't do it on, um, of course, I didn't do it live. So I'm going to try it. But it might not work. So <laughs> it's something that I don't use often. Yay. Well, I'll just do two. It's probably just in case. <laughs> There we go, and just gonna add that on. You can always cut the end bits. There. Ooh. One down, one up. So it's just slightly off. Um, offset it so then the seal sticky bit the sticky bit, <laughs> stickiness that's coming out here yeah. and that's gonna get added on with dimensionals so place that top right this one with another dimensional and although there's still there I can just do that oh my sentiment I forgot so I'm just gonna cut it seeing as it's wonky I will make it a bit of a wonk except the base yeah you're sweet And to make it stand out a bit more, I just going to oh no, it's fine. That's my wives. Um, color that quickly with I guess again I could have used fair vanilla, but I didn't want it to blend in with the white layer and the vanilla die cuts. So I've got medium light eight hundred natural tones, natural tones. I should have colored it before cutting it. It would have been easier, but it's fine. So at least comp next to it, there's a difference in color. There we go. And then we're just going to add this on. So keeping the, again, the straws kind of like within the frame. That one is dimensional as well. But before I add the second one, I don't want it to hit two layers of ribbon, so I'm just going to add it on the base there. Stick that down. Oh well, that's fine. And then, what am I doing? Sentiment. I'll just use mini. So if that's going to go there, top right. Add a bit of glue. You're sweet, and that's gonna go at the. Oh, did I, did I move you? That is there, and I'm just gonna add that. 
on, tidy up the ribbon, and then finish up with the other cherries. So one I'm gonna hide, so the scratched up cherry on top there. Well. And one I'm gonna add onto there again in dimensional for dimensions. <laughs> And then finally, finish up with some meeps. So metallic enamel effects basics or whatever it's called. What? I don't know why it's basic when it's metallic. So yeah, so this one, I'm just going to use the silver. It comes in three packs of gold, copper, and silver. And liquid embellishment I guess you can change the sizes of your dottings big one little one medium one <laughs> and where else there and tiny one there Of course, you'll need to put it aside to get it, um, what do you call it, dried. And there we go. That is share a milkshake with different stamping right marker techniques. I hope you enjoyed that one. This is the original. So pretty much the same my placement of my wafer wafer yeah I like that only one card for tonight I knew it was gonna take long <laughs> <laughs> and I was panicking I was like to Barry um I need a second card and I was like Reals realistically I don't because <laughs> it's gonna take ages right just be careful of that so let us know in the comment what you like about it uh, what you're gonna try if you are gonna try it um, <laughs> or if you're watching the replay yeah what's your favorite milkshake or ice cream flavor I'm just gonna keep that I'm gonna put this away because I know Tommy tends to like coming up yes so I wouldn't put it there either I'd put it up there because okay. he's gonna jump up there <laughs> lovely so well done Jay isn't that amazing so sorry if we've made you uh, hungry and craving ice cream um, apologies for ruining some of your diets. <laughs> but yes, there we go. So you that there is tonight's. Um, I nearly said sweet ice cream then. Share a milkshake card. There we go. We got rid of the blue. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. Tricks yeah. of the trade. A block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there we have it. So, can, uh, well done. I need to say congratulations. But yes, congratulations for taking that one hour J on one card. Well, <laughs> it took. Actually, when I was designing it, I designed it on the day. <laughs> I was a bit late on the hop. Um, Which is normal. Because we were out the, the previous day. He makes that sound like, oh, he's, he's quite proud of that, but that's just not. I am out. proud because, like, normally it takes me hours. Oh, that took you quite quickly, was it? Yeah, when okay. I did it, because I was just like, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you stamp. Boom, boom, boom. Tap, tap, tap. Not, not boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Let me hear you say. <laughs> In the comments. <laughs> cool. So, 
Excellent. So we are going to, for those of you that um, are unsure, we are going to have a little crafter party now. So it sounds more exciting than it actually is. But It's um, amazing. <laughs> But we're going to just go on to Zoom. We've got a Zoom link, so it's pinned up in a live chat at the moment. And it's on the Facebook groups, if you want to, in the chat, in the comments on that. The link is there. So if you'd like to come and join us um, in a moment whilst we just tidy up and um, potter around just for a little while, ask us any questions, have a little bit of a chit-chat with us, um, have a chit-chat with each other as well. Um, it'd be nice. It's a good way of you actually being able to put some faces to names as well. So you, if you see each other here, um, now you can actually speak to each other. And this is a bit of a... Bit of a Wendy, you, you, knew, you, didn't, you haven't failed me at all. I knew, you'd be, I knew you'd come up there and say it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's a good way. So if you want to come in and have a little chat with everyone else, see some faces. And so on. it'd be lovely to see as many of you as possible. Like I say, it's free. You don't have to... There's no, no charge for it. Just come along and have a little bit of a chitter chat. Yes. So, um, like I said, link is at the top. But we will see some of you in a moment, hopefully. Um, if not, we will see you on Friday, Fun Fog Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Don't know what. Any ideas for Fun Fog Friday? What do you want to see well, this week? Well, I still have that Inches Met Imperial card. Okay. For that, I don't know what it's, um, Gian said. The what, name. the daisy one? Yeah, the daisy, but um, um, I'm using the... the Grab that box down over clock. there quickly. Sorry, here we go. This is us just thinking on the fly now. Um, so, Jay's on about this card right here, yeah? Yeah. So, this one right here, which is what I did a couple of weeks ago as a fun fell Friday, but we only did it in centimetres. So, would you like to see this one in inches, in, in the inches format, in a different um, in a different design as well? So do let us know. Um, you can let us know in the chat in a moment if you want to. Yes. So, um, but yeah, that's what we're thinking of doing. So if you've seen it already, we've got the centimetres one, but we will do. We didn't do it in the inches, and we promised to write the inches in, but we haven't. So um, yeah. But anyway, yeah. we will see you in a few minutes. Um, if not, we will see you on Friday. If not Friday, we will see you on Sunday. Sunday. Yes. So thanks for watching, and we will see you again very soon. Thanks everyone. See Take you later. Care. Bye bye. Bye.